when Nissan created its first full-size sport utility vehicle, the Pathfinder Armada, it did so in the traditional way, using the platform of its full-size Titan pickup. Although there's now a new Titan pickup from which a new full-size ute could be spun, Nissan decided that worldwide volume for big, body-on-frame SUVs, which sell pretty much only in North America and the Middle East, could be accommodated by consolidating its offerings around the international market Nissan Patrol. That vehicle, leather-lined and re-engineered for a more pampered, pavement-oriented life, already is the basis for the Infiniti QX80, and now it has spawned a new Nissan Armada. The styling changes from the Infiniti are evident mostly up front, where the Armada adopts a Nissan family face. And while we might have hoped to see the QX80's chrome fender trim disappear here, the driver's side vent is actually functional, as an engine air intake, so the vents stay. The near comical hugeness of the old Armada is replaced here by mere bigness. Good by us, certainly, considering the new truck's greater refinement. Peek inside the luxurious cabin and you might not notice any changes at all from the infinity. Padded surfaces abound, hard plastic has been all but banished, and the new Armada marks a wholesale upgrade in interior finery over its predecessor. Even the base SV comes with navigation, a 13-speaker Bose stereo, dual power seats, and a backup camera. The SL adds leather, power operation for the third row seats, a power liftgate, and 20-inch wheels. The Platinum, tested gear, brings a sunroof, heated and cooled front seats, seat heaters for the second row, and dual rear seat entertainment screens, among other niceties. The Platinum also gets a full spate of driver assist technologies, which are optional on the midline S.